active, that uh, dialogue is good, anytime, any day. But I think we must demonstrate uh, commitment and good faith whenever we talk about the matter of dialogue or national conversation. It's now almost seven months since the National Dialogue Committee concluded its deliberations and presented a report. To the best of my knowledge, that report has not been implemented. As a matter of fact, out of the nine bills uh, that were crafted by the NADCO team, only one has been processed. Uh, that is the IBC amendment bill. The other eight bills are in limbo, if I may call it so. And that's a demonstration of lack of good faith and commitment on the part of the government. Because we have done our best as a ZIMU uh, to push uh, uh, the agenda of the implementation of the NADCO uh, report and its recommendations. So the starting point, before we engage or embark on another round of dialogue or, or conversation, let us first track the implementation of the NADCO report. We have, as a country, all it takes to be able to implement that report, demonstrate good faith and commitment. Let us see, beginning Monday next week, uh, 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 a commitment by the government side to have the implementation of the medical report fast tracked before we can embark on any other dialogue, really. Because it's basically logical uh, that you conclude one uh, 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 aspect of dialogue before you embark on another one. So the NADCO had very comprehensive recommendations contained in a very comprehensive report that if implemented, would have addressed some of the issues that are being raised by the Gen Z and other Kenyans. Okay? As a country, we must be serious sometimes so that we don't seem to be basically going around in circles. Yet we know what needs to be done. It is not lack of knowledge of what needs to be done that is uh, killing us, but the lack of commitment to do that which is necessary. <laughs>